All right. Well, we're back. We are. It's uh, it's been a minute, as they say. Yes. It's been a minute since we've done a community video, but, but it's been uh, winter. <laughs> winter's here. I mean, listen, I'm grateful for today. It's uh, kind of snowy and a little cold. I was getting tired of saying, hey, it's just another bluebird day here in Calgary. So, yes. Nobody was starting to believe us. They're like, there's no way. We have some snow today. <laughs> and today, we are going to the community of Varsity. Yes. It's going to be a great day, and we're going to make the best of it. So, let's get rolling. All right, well, we're on our way to uh, Varsity, like we said. Yes. Uh, traffic's a little slower. It's uh, yes. It's a little chilly. It's a little snowy. Yeah. People are being cautious, but uh, roads are a little. They're okay, but they're, they're not, not bad. Yeah. yeah. So Varsity. I mean, uh, I feel like it's been a little bit since I talked about Varsity in general, but mm -hmm. um, it's so it is in the northwest part of the city. Yep. Just for to establish uh, some geography there for everyone. And um, Varsity got established kind of in the, the 60s and the early 70s. You're going to yeah. see those established neighborhoods and the trees and, and everything that sort yeah. of goes with that. I'm just going to say lots of great trees. <laughs> yeah, lots of great trees. And, you know, I mean, we always like to talk about the real estate market in general. It's a, it's a hot topic. Um, Varsity is still very healthy. Mm -hmm. when it comes to uh, oh, definitely. desirability. Yeah, we have a ton of clients looking in that neighborhood. Yeah, so, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Now, I mean, sure, the market's cooled a little bit over over the year. I mean, there's no denying that, but mm -hmm. um, the homes still hold their value there. Yeah. There is plenty to love about the community, that's yes. for sure. It's true. Um, average home price right now as it stands, as of this video, is 850000 And this is across uh, detached homes, apartments, um townhouses as well okay okay so that's kind of a baseline and i guess like many other communities in calgary there's lots of green spaces yeah lots of green spaces and, that, and that's a common thread and this yeah. is no different and one of the things i love about the community as far as green spaces on the south end mm -hmm. um right below like there's a bluff on yeah. 40th avenue so right below that bluff is beaumont park beautiful park and then what's right beside that flowing through that is the bull river that's right so yeah great spot uh Absolutely. and i believe that's actually an off-leash dog dog park yep, as well i think there is so it's fantastic for that kind of stuff for for like running and walking and taking mm -hmm. your dog out and all those kinds of things now also of course what we want to know is some of the amenities there's lots of amenities around here one of the biggest ones as far as you know if you're a real shopper mm -hmm. you have of course market mall yes <laughs> and and there's lots of other amenities nearby we're going to get into some of those things as we get a little bit uh, deeper into some of the pros and cons yes so and as well um there are also recreation facilities not the least of which is the varsity community association mm -hmm. hey it's winter they have a skating rink there mm -hmm. uh, we're not playing maybe much tennis at the moment Probably not. <laughs> you never know. And you never know. Who knows? Could be some hardcore there tennis could be players. some hardcore tennis players. <laughs> and uh, of course, playground. Yeah. You know, we've got to have those for the kids as well. So. Yeah. And then speaking of kids, when we think about that, we're thinking of schools. Plenty sure. of schools in the area. Um, Marion Carson School. There's uh, F.E. Osborne, and yeah. there's definitely a few other ones. And hey, of course, the University of Calgary. I was just gonna is say, yeah, pretty close. Right there. Yeah. So <laughs> we uh, we uh, we need to get into a little bit more though, and uh, so let's just uh, move on, move on, and let's get into some of those pros and cons of Varsity. All right, sounds okay. good. Varsity offers a great number of things. There are excellent amenities. I mean, it offers residents access to a variety of things like Market Mall, the Varsity Community Association, parks, playgrounds, skating rinks, tennis courts. There's even Silver Springs Golf and Country Club. Now, this is a private club, but you can always inquire about memberships. If golf is your thing, it's a beautiful course. And with communities of Brentwood, Dalhousie, Silver Springs, and neighboring communities nearby, there's plenty of stores and restaurants to explore. 
The other good thing is access to green spaces. With several parks and paths throughout the community, Varsity residents enjoy outdoor stuff year round. And one of my personal favorites is Nose Hill Park. It's the fourth largest urban park in Canada. Great for walking, biking, running, catching a glimpse of some native animals like deer, coyotes, porcupines, or even hawks. Another great thing is the proximity to the University of Calgary. If you have a university student in the family, the U of C is right next door and very conveniently located. And really just an extension of the U of C is the Alberta Children's Hospital. So you're in good hands when you're living in varsity. The other great thing about living in varsity is its inner city location. You're near major roads and transit, makes it a short drive to get anywhere in the city. Its central location provides easy access to several major attractions, such as Canada Olympic Park and many more. It's also pretty quick to escape the city. Just jump on Crowchild and head west. You'll soon be on the highway heading towards Bread Creek, Canmore, Banff and beyond. Now that we've touched on some of the good, there's bound to be a few things that some people may not like. Let's take a peek at a few of those now. Location, busy and noisy streets. Varsity can be quite busy and noisy, but really that depends on where you live, of course. Especially during rush hour traffic, if you're closer to say, Crowchild Trail, for example, you're bound to hear the hum of traffic. But get a little farther away from some of those main streets and there are plenty of quiet nooks to be found in Varsity. High cost of living. The cost of living in Varsity can be relatively high compared to other more suburban areas of Calgary. With an average home price of 850,000, I would not call this a value proposition, but shift into a condo or townhouse and prices come down substantially. Limited housing options. The demand for housing in Varsity is high and supply of homes may be limited. Market conditions will dictate, of course. This can definitely make it more challenging to find the right home, but don't let that dissuade you from looking. You just never know what you may find. We have just stepped inside this bi-level home built in 1966, but clearly newly renovated. Look at all this light coming in. You have a fabulous window above these double front doors and check out this chandelier. As I mentioned, it was built 1966 and it's clearly been renovated. It's listed at 875,000. You have about 1187 square feet above grade and then below grade you have another 1,068 square feet. So quite a bit of space here in this bi-level. Right now I'm in the living room space and you know, despite the fact it's an older home, so you have eight foot ceilings, but it is really bright in here. They kept the walls really light. There's lots of windows and check out this really amazing fireplace. And this built in storage around it. You have a really nice dining area here with again, some custom millwork and this kitchen is pretty cool. Again, it's nice and bright despite the black appliances. You have a really nice waterfall island and these cabinets are that wood grain look, which I think blend really nicely with the luxury vinyl plank flooring. Let's head on back to check out the bedroom areas. And before we get there, let's check out this full bathroom. I'm really digging the color tones in this home. You have a lot of creams, white, light brown, those beigey colors, and then these black accents, which I think lend a really nice contrast. And they've carried that on into the bathroom here. You also have laundry tucked away in there. The appliances are yet to come. Let's head on back now and see the bedrooms. You actually have three bedrooms on this level, so it's perfect no matter what your situation. You've got kids, guests, no matter what, you've got a place to tuck them away. The master's through here, so let's go see it. Again, you have a really bright space, lots of lighting. I mean, they've put pot lights in here and this really nice kind of chandelier, I suppose, fixture. Really cool and a big, big window. Through here, you've got a double sink, mirrors on its way, and a really big walk-in shower. 
Now that we've had a look at the main floor, let's head down to the lower level. We've got some cool surprises for you. One thing I'm asked about a lot recently is basement suites. So people want that mortgage helper. They want to be able to live upstairs and still have space down below to get a little bit of extra money every month. Now, to be clear, this is an illegal suite down here, but it's a great space. You actually have your own laundry right here and this fantastic large bright living area. I mean, these windows make a huge difference and we're not quite sunken in the ground. And I think that really does lend itself to feeling a lot brighter. So it doesn't feel so much like your typical basement suite. Through here, you have the kitchen area. Now, as I mentioned, this is an illegal suite and it's not quite set up yet, but it certainly can be ready to be. Your stove would go here. Of course, you've got your island, the dishwasher's already in, and your refrigerator here. This is the entrance to the suite, which leads right to the back, and some stairs that go out to the side. So it's perfectly set up, whether you wanna rent it out or even just have a space where maybe your mother-in-law comes to live with you, or you've got some teenagers who want some of their own space down below. This is a great setup. The other thing that makes this space really fantastic is you have not one, but two huge bedrooms and this full bathroom with a double sink and a humongous walk-in shower. So again, really cool space. The bedrooms, as I mentioned, big and they are bright. This bedroom in particular has huge windows. And for all those wine lovers, you actually have a built-in wine room here. We cannot leave this home without mentioning this backyard area. So what you have here is a double detached oversized garage. The roof of the garage is this huge outdoor deck. It's amazing for entertaining. I mean, I don't know how big that is, but well, it's the size of the garage, essentially. You also have two really great mature trees there. And inside the garage, you actually have a mezzanine level that can be storage or workshop area. There's three doors on different levels where you can get into the garage. It's a pretty cool feature. So this is pretty typical of what we're starting to see more and more of in Varsity with these older homes being renovated. This one in particular has over $200,000 of extensive upgrades and renovations. They've done pretty much everything to this home. New shingles, new windows, new downspouts, uh, paint. You have a new hot water tank furnace. I mean, it goes on and on. So, you know, they've done a nice job. It's a great opportunity to get into a neighborhood like this where it's really mature. You've got those great trees, but you're living in what essentially feels like a brand new home. Again, this one has over 2,200 square feet on the multiple levels and it's listed at 875,000. So we hope you've enjoyed this one. It's actually a really unique home in a great neighborhood. And uh, we're gonna head back out and we'll catch you out on the road. Well, there we have it. Yeah. That is Varsity. Wow, that is part of Varsity. Yep, another so, neighborhood wrapped up. Another neighborhood. Uh, mm -hmm. Conditions were not ideal, I wouldn't say. So apologize no. ahead of time for the footage. It's gonna be a little, yeah. you know, it's a little uh, gray and cloudy out here and the snow is falling and Kind of sad because there's a lot of green spaces in Varsity, but um, it's very white out. There's, today. There, there are white spaces there's now. There's definitely no green. Uh, today. There's very, very <laughs> shades of gray and white out here right now. So, uh, except you're, uh, you wore your nice bright orange. I did. Yeah, so that you looks to nice. to stand out. <laughs> but um, so Varsity, yeah, I mean it's uh, it's another great community. Uh, has some uh, years in the book, so to speak. Mm -hmm. and we're saying it was developed in the 60s and 70s, and uh, yeah. Yeah, beautiful, mature trees, lots of little cul-de-sacs. Yeah. Um, I mean, I know we mentioned maybe one of the cons was it can be, depending on where you live, it can be a little bit uh, loud. I mean, here we are yeah. on Crow Child Trail, which uh, we there, call out. Yeah, there's definitely some busy spots. I mean, because you've got yeah. the university, you've got the Children's Hospital, you have Market Mall, you have like lots of things that are kind of right there. Yeah. So some streets are definitely busy. Yeah. But, but overall, there are some really nice, like tucked away, like you said, cul-de-sacs. Absolutely, yeah. as you said, great green spaces. Yeah, you've got that little bluff where you have the Bow River flowing below. Mm -hmm. Beautiful spot.
I forgot to mention earlier as well that we're really close to McMahon Stadium. So if you're yes. into catching yeah. the Stampeders play, yeah. then Varsity is also a great neighborhood for that because, uh, you know, you're really, yeah. really close to it. And I guess it's really an extension of the University of Calgary, but it's, you know, it's, uh, yeah. it's where all the big uh, football games happen. So That's right. <laughs> yeah, and then um, probably you'll catch it in the drone footage. So we are on Crowchild Trail, but just on the other side, there was some mention of some neighboring communities. So again, drawing on some more amenities from yeah. those areas. That's Brentwood right. uh, Village Mall is just right over here. Totally, yep. So no Northland shortage. Northland Shopping Center, I mean, we yeah. Didn't, we didn't mention that, it's perfect. Yeah, it's yeah. quite yeah, a bit. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. exactly. So lots uh, lots more to see in the community, that's for sure. And hopefully uh, the next time we're through there, we have bright blue skies that's and right. green grass and flowers coming up and all that kind of stuff. So definitely, it's, it's definitely a popular community. We get a lot of uh, people wanting to see homes, not a lot on the market right now, yes. which is why the average home price is as high yeah. as it is right now. Yeah. Uh, the lower end properties, there's just not a lot of them anywhere in the city. So just getting snatched up. Yeah, so like currently the average price in Varsity is what did you say? Just eight, a little under shy, 850. Yeah, shy but, of 850, which is a little high, uh, but it's because right now yeah. everything that, there's only 22 properties yeah, for it's sale. it's being skewed a little bit. And it's being sure. skewed because yeah. what, what is available is on that higher end. So yeah, that's a good uh, call out. It's important to know that. It is because it's not typically that high. Uh, yeah. It's just overall in the entire city right now, yes. we're seeing a real lack of properties in that 500 and under range and or even that 600 and under range so you know it is take it with a grain of salt i guess uh yeah. just important to point out no so. that's a that's a great call out yeah and uh certainly lots more to follow i mean i think we kind of covered the the major points hopefully mm -hmm. people can get a sense of the neighborhood yep. um amidst all of the snow <laughs> but you know, hey, again, if if uh, more information is needed, you can always reach out. That's right. Of course, that's what we're here for. We're here to help a little bit. And uh, I think we should wrap it up. Yeah. Call it a day. You mentioned something about a little drama scotch, but... Yeah, we have some maybe. scotch waiting and we have some salmon for dinner. And we have so some salmon. We should head home. Let's do it. Let's <laughs> get home. All right, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. And... Uh, as always, if you don't mind, you can give us a little like and uh, that, that thumbs up always helps a little bit with the algorithms and all that stuff. Drop a comment. We would like to hear from you. And if you live in the area, for sure, drop us a comment. Help us out. Give Absolutely. us uh, give us the lay of the land as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks again. See you soon.